everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video we want to look at a plain chest radiograph and note the pathologies on the plain chest radiograph and then very importantly see the common causes of the pathologies we see now this is the plain chest radiograph we want to see or we want to discuss i want to indicate the pathologies on this plain chest radiograph these are the pathologies as indicated and then on the right side of the chest we have one here we have another another and the last i would want to indicate here now this pattern or this chest radiograph shows multiple pulmonary nodules classically described as cannonball metastasis now on this pattern or these nodules are very common in the basis of the lungs as indicated by these black circles principally because the base of the lungs are highly vascularized compared to the apex or the apexes of the lungs now the cannonball appearance or the cannonball metastasis is the most common radiographic pattern of pulmonary metastasis meaning the spread of a cancer from a primary site into the lungs this is the most common radiographic pattern you will see if a patient has that condition and so what conditions can give rise to this pattern of pulmonary metastasis we want to see that with a mnemonic and so let's see the mnemonic to help us remember the conditions which typically gave us a cannonball appearance on the plain chest radiograph the mnemonic is pancreas as in the organ that secretes insulin and glucagon in the body now we are going to spell pancreas as capital p capital a small n capital c capital r capital e small a and capital s indicating that the letters n and a are not part of the mnemonic really and so p a c r e s so p for prostate carcinoma a for adrenal carcinoma and then c for choriocarcinoma one of the types of the gestational trophoblastic diseases we know r for renal cell carcinoma e for endometrial carcinoma and then s for synovial membrane carcinoma now i wrote c and r in other words choriocarcinoma and renal cell carcinoma because these two conditions are the most common causes of cannonball appearance on a plain chest radiograph and so please note that although we've mentioned other causes c and r or choriocarcinoma and renal cell carcinoma are the most common causes of this radiographic pattern now guys while i have given you the traditional mnemonic used to remember the causes of this radiographic pattern we should also note that there are some conditions that can cause this radiographic pattern although they are not part of the mnemonic i gave one includes malignant melanoma which is a malignancy of um, the cells of the skin notably the melanocytes we have malignant ovarian tumor it can also give you that um, radiographic pattern when it spreads to the lungs a spindle cell sarcoma sorry so we can have a spindle cell sarcoma of the thigh when it spreads to the lungs it can also give you um a cannonball appearance then we have leiomyosarcoma of the uterus so we have the smooth muscles of the uterus undergoing malignant change and then spreading to the lungs it can give you that pattern and then colorectal cancer and so this video aimed to tell us the causes or the common causes of cannonball appearance on chest x-ray and so please do not forget to support this channel by liking and sharing this video and subscribing to our channel put your notification bell on so that when we post new videos like this you'll be notified and join the community thank you for watching once again and have a great day 
Bye. Thank you.